Thanks for tuning in to the 3D Tutor. Hey guys and welcome to this new video in the Virtual Portfolio Gallery tutorial. So now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at actually um, adding some animation to this foliage. So we're going to start with the foliage on the ground and we're going to go into the first material. So I'm going to go to, I guess, Plant 1 material. And we're going to first of all right click here. We're going to add a panner. So coordinates panner. And then we're also going to right click and add a sign. So just S-I-N-E. We're going to link the panner to the sign and then the sign to the world position offset. Now with the panner, we're going to click on that and we're going to set the speed X to about 0.5 and the speed Y to maybe about 0.9. By doing that, you're going to see we've already got some movement there. It's very subtle. You don't want to overdo it, but let's just see what that looks like. So if you have a look, it's actually animating already. It's probably too much though. So I might actually reduce that a little bit because it is looking a little bit too strong. Play around with the figures until you find something that um, works for you. So I'm gonna go 0.3 and 0.4. So that's a lot better, a lot better. Now obviously you've only applied it to one. So now I'm gonna copy these two. I'm just gonna then go into my other materials and do exactly the same thing. And I'll show you what it looks like in just a second. I've set all of them at exactly the same value. So as you can see, they're all moving at exactly the same angle, which doesn't really look very realistic. So what I'm gonna do is go into my plant number two. I'm just gonna click on the panner and I'm gonna minus these figures. So I'm gonna go minus 0 0.3 and I'm gonna go minus 0 0.4. So what that's gonna do is actually uh, cross the animations on some of them, making them um, go in opposite directions, which should look a little bit more interesting. So straight away, you can see what's going on there. It's making them look a little bit more interesting. You also want to change the values a little bit because the last thing you want is for them all to be exactly the same. Okay, so I've been playing around with the figures. I've put a few on minus and a few on plus, and that's looking a lot better. So it's very, very subtle, um, as you can see. Oh, the door's gonna close in on me. You see how it's moving? pretty nicely so I can apply the same thing on the um, foliage on the uh, trees as well so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that and we'll see what it looks like okay so let's just have a quick look and see what it looks like on the trees once it's applied so let's have a quick look so you can see we've got some movement on the trees there just a very gentle breeze uh, kind of animation there you can obviously increase the value on the uh, tree because you can probably get away with a little bit more there you go, so a bit more movement in the tree. You can kind of see how that's working. Looks pretty good. Makes your environment seem a bit more alive. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. So I'm gonna run through the second method of doing this and uh, then you can decide for yourself which one you prefer. Okay, so with this method, um, we're gonna work on the first material for the plant. I'm just gonna break the link for this because I wanna, um, just by holding Alt and clicking here, cause I'll keep this on the side so I can link it up later in case I'm not happy with this new uh, method. So we're gonna right click and we're gonna go with simple grass uh, wind. So simple grass wind. And we're gonna link the result into the world position offset. We're also gonna just hold the one key and we're gonna be clicking twice to apply two constant vectors. And then um, we're gonna link the additional world position offset to the material, like so. So what we then need to do is we need to click onto the first uh, vector. We're gonna change that to about 0 0.5. I'm gonna do 0 0.5 on both and I'm gonna see what it looks like. So it might be too high, but it looks a little bit crazy, but I wanna apply it and I wanna see what it looks like. It's not too bad actually, I quite like it. It looks a lot more wind-like, I guess. Um, so I'm just gonna reduce the values because they're a little bit too high. I'm guessing if you mix and match these a little bit, then obviously you get a better effect. Um, but you just have to play with the figures until you find something that looks uh, good. Now this all depends on the um, texture and the type of foliage you have. Um, so you can obviously tweak it and change it. That's a lot better. Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly add this to um, the tree as well. I'm gonna look up and we can see what it does with the tree. Making it look a little bit wavier. Um, we'll see what happens if we tweak the figures a little bit. That's a much stronger wind, um, probably a bit too strong. So I'm gonna see what happens if I change this one up to 0.8. So the part of this is all about experimentation just until you get a value which you kind of think works. That looks pretty nice, so I'm gonna go in. Just gonna see what this looks like now. Obviously the lighting isn't built. Looking pretty good. 
not too sure on the actual tree, it looks a little bit weird. I might actually go back to the other method, but on the foliage on the ground, it seems to work pretty nicely. Yeah, so small changes will add a lot of variation and a lot more depth and re realism to your um, game. So obviously see which one you prefer, see what you think looks better, and um, yeah, let me know what you think. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video and stay tuned for the next one. All right, so I'll catch you next time.